Warning, F-bombs are armed and may be dropped. About a week ago, I was asked, what three guns would you take for the apocalypse? Without hesitation, I said, Glock 2-2, Glock 2-7, AR-15. Somebody off on the side saw the comment and said, oh, no, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Boomer, let's do this. I don't have a Glock 2.7. I wish I did. The difference between the Glock 2.2 and the Glock 2.7 is one is the full size and the other is the subcompact. I do have the full size Glock 2.2. As you can see, hopefully, Glock 2.2. Watch this. And as you can see, I don't really have sleeves, so I don't have anything up them. And what's that? That is a 9mm. What kind of magic is this? I'll let you know. First of all, the first clue comes right here. See that? That's an extension barrel. You have to dry fire a Glock to disassemble it. Don't give me any shit in the comments. Upper receiver only. And yes, you can say slide. I don't care. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> and... Violin. This is a 9mm drop-in barrel. This is the threaded model, the threaded type, for the Glock 2.2. And I think he's also worked on the 2.3, but don't hold me to that. Why would I prefer a Glock 2.2 to a Glock 1.7? Because there's no drop-in 40 cal ma uh, barrels for the 1.7. Gets a little bit better than that. The Glock 2.7, like the Glock 2.2, has a drop-in barrel. It's shorter, obviously, and they're not mutually compatible. You cannot put a 2.7 barrel into a 2.2, and you can't put a 2.2 barrel into a 2.7. One way makes sense, and the other does not, and it's unfortunate, but it's the way it works sometimes. The Glock 1.7 doesn't have that, and the 1.7 and the 2.2 are the two most common types of law enforcement pistols, which means, and this is a horrible thing to say, but you could restock off of dead cops. They're dead. You can't help them. Take their mags, take their barrels, and keep fighting. And because I have that drop-in barrel, I'll still be fighting long after my critic has run out of ammo because I can switch between the two. Not quite uh, at will. As you can see, I'm actually putting my gun back together right now and I'm trying to watch the camera at the same time which would pretty well be pretty analogous to watching out for enemies and it's taken me a little bit of time isn't it but you can do that this is the 40 cal mat, uh, barrel And back in service. Full mag. All right. <clears throat> so Glock 2.2 and 1.7, two most common models. That's the way the world is. 
And yes, it's a horrible thing to say, but restock off of dead people, including, you know, you find a dead raider, and he's got 29 millimeter rounds. You've now got 29 millimeter rounds for your 9 millimeter Glock 22. Another interesting detail about the Glock 22. This is not a Glock 17 mag clip. This is a Glock 22 clip, and it's got the 9 millimeters. That only works one way. You can put the 9 millimeters in the 40 cals, and you get an average of 1.25 failure to feeds per mag. I know I did this drill twice. I filled four of these with 9 mils. One was a Monday, and the other one was the t following Tuesday, the, a week a week later, and just ran them, ran them, ran them. I had two failure to feeds. First time it was in the second mag clip. Second time it was in the fourth clip. I think there's a mathematical formula to this. And I don't know what it is. The other three clips, I had one failure to feed. That averages out to one decimal two five. And it's a simple remediation. Just rack, rack and dump. You're going to lose two, maybe three rounds. I, I lost two in the simulated combat environment, but okay. Maybe you lose a third one. That's the worst thing that happens. You're back in the fight, and you can pick up the three rounds while you're shooting. I didn't because it's a range. Obviously, that's not safe. <clears throat> you can put the 9mm rounds in the 40 cal clip. You can't put 40 cals in the 9mm clip. Last but not least, this is a $350 plus dollar gun. This is a $175-ish barrel. I, th I think I paid $180 with shipping, handling, and packing. I now have two guns. You have one. And yes, it's harder for me to put mine back into service if something goes wrong. That's okay. You know, I, I hit the rack and I know I've got five 40 cal mags, but I have eight 9mm uh, enough bullets for it to fill eight clips with nine millimeter. I'm going to refill the eight clips with the nine millimeter, switch out the barrels, and carry as nine millimeter for the next day. The only specific detail within this that I would give first of all, go with the threaded barrel for the Glock 22, but go with the unthreaded barrel for the Glock 27. A pistol should get you to your rifle. If you lose your rifle for whatever reason, and that happened to me once, go to your pistol. And options and power, threaded barrel, you can have the compensator, you can have the suppressor, you can have this, you can have that, you can have anything else you want. Uh, unthreaded barrel, you can't. Okay, so right now you're running with your threaded barrel, and maybe you have nothing on it. No problem. Run with an empty threaded barrel for a little bit until you can get some place where you can get the rifle fixed or replaced or whatever it is you need to do. If you lose this, you can still switch to the Glock 27 in the 9 or 40 cal, doesn't matter, and just work on getting yourself out of this situation. Now it's just the harassment, fuck you rounds to get them to stop following you, hopefully. Back out, go someplace, and figure out what the problem is. Why did you lose your rifle? Why did you lose one of your pistols? Probably a reason for that. Also, last little detail. And if you own a Glock, you know this already. The full-size mags will fit the subcompacts, but the subcompact mags will not fit the full-size. Also, the compact mags will not fit the full-size. 
they're they can go from small uh, biggest to smaller big to small but not reversed you can get a sleeve for these full size mags so that they'll fit the 27 it's not a problem 27 is concealed oh my god is it so concealable i talked to three cops with mine on my hip and not even that well hidden. It was just sort of kind of underneath a t-shirt. And either they saw it and they said nothing. Or they didn't see it. It gets worse. I was at a major public event. Uh, ticketed. But public event. Outside of California City back in 2016. I had a Glock 27 with me. And it was loaded. And I'm 99% sure that one of the cops at that event knew I had it and winked at me. Either he knew I had it and he winked at me because he kind of recognized my face enough. Or he winked at me because he's gay. I'm actually kind of preferring that he's gay than... He recognized my face and knew who I was. And this coming from a homophobe is a bad sign. Okay. You think you know better? Fight me. Comments are open. On a related note, AR-15s. Everybody who sees this video Oh, CMMG, a big round of thanks. They came up with an insert for the Stanag 4179 mag that allow it to go from 5.56223 to 7.62439, but not anything bigger. So you can still run those. 451, I think, it, or 458 SOCOMs without modifications, but you can also run anything smaller than that 556. Holy shit, there's a forward smoke player. You could have your 9mm or 40 cal, so <coughs> 762, whatever, AR 15. Just convert your standard mag. Thank you, CMMG. You are brilliant. You deserve much praise. Okay, keep calm. I'm sure to carry on.